Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Sorry, Dad, how old's this sad weirdo supposed to be? <laughs> the maid be 13, my sweet. Yeah, cos I'm 13. Exactly. I, I thought it might be fun to hear my Juliet spoke in her true voice before a middle-aged man with two half coconuts down his bodice gets hold of it. I don't say stuff like this, Dad. I'd sound like a complete turnip. <laughs> yes, dear, tis thy sweet and youthful timbre I would fain hear, not the monosyllabic series of grunts that passes for your conversation. Oh, what? I take the view that having my romantic ingenue say, uh, what? Shut up, Romeo. You're so weird. Uh, <laughs> shut up. I hate you. Would, would be slightly less effective than mine own timeless poetry. Timeless is the word, as in, feels like goes on for bloody ever. <laughs> You've never given it a chance. You, you've only seen Henry VI, part one. Part one? What, you mean there's more? <laughs> I mean, don't take this the wrong way, son, but, God, I was bored. <laughs> I thought I was actually outside my own body watching myself die. He sat there cracking his nuts in the quiet bits. <laughs> I tried to shush him, but he would not be shushed. He's a stubborn man, your father, William. A stubborn, common man. Which is why you married me. Posh birds love a bit of rough. <laughs> I married beneath me, and now you've done the same, William. And what's that supposed to mean? It means that he was 17, and he got a scheming little 26-year-old tithe farm milking slap off the Duffington, that's what. <laughs> oh, you think you're so posh, Mary Arden. Like, you ain't sewn into your winter knickers like everybody else. <laughs> I'm trying to work. I, I've come from London to hear Sue read my Juliet. Well, I'm not happy, doll. Burbage pays you as an actor, not a writer. It's fine. I've sent word to the theatre that the two tunnels which lie beneath the bridge be blocked. Pardon? <laughs> the two tunnels which lie beneath the bridge be blocked. T two tunnels beneath a bridge? Anyone? <laughs> Nose, my loves, nose. I, I've told Burbage that my nose be snotted and I would not work this week or next. But why didn't you just say nose? It's what I do. <laughs> now, Susanna, again. What if I have to? Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Dad, nobody talks like this. It, it's poetry. Sometimes I regret teaching you to read. I do think it could be a little less flowery, love. I mean, why doesn't she just say, where are you, Romeo? B because, my love, it doesn't mean where are you, it means why are you, Romeo? <laughs> That's a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, Romeo's just his name. Well, exactly. Juliet is saying, why are you a member of a family that I hate? People will definitely think you mean, Romeo, where are you? <laughs> That's what I thought it meant. Yeah, I did too. It's bloody obvious. <laughs> I think... To be clear, you're going to have to have Juliet say, Romeo, Romeo, why are you called Romeo? A member of a family that I hate. That'd do it. Although, if I was being really picky, Romeo's just his Christian name, isn't it? And that's not the issue. It's his surname that's the problem. Well, yes. Actually, I was sort of hoping people wouldn't notice that. I think they might. Sure. So, so, so you think she should say... Montague, Montague, wherefore art thou Montague? No, cos that'd sound like she's lost her cat. <laughs> Look, it's...